Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 6 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 6, as part of the rich compendium of poems and prayers found in the Book of Psalms, is a deeply emotional and spiritual expression of humanity seeking divine comfort in the midst of suffering. Attributed to King David, a central character in the Judeo-Christian tradition, this psalm stands out as a fervent plea for mercy and healing in times of trouble. The narrative of this psalm delves into the depths of human affliction, revealing a vivid portrait of the agony and despair that many can face in times of great tribulation. David, the psalmist, does not hesitate to express the intensity of his pain, crying out to the Lord not to punish him in his wrath, but rather to have mercy on him. He finds himself physically and emotionally exhausted, suffering from an anguish so deep that it consumes him, begging God to free him from the suffering and affliction that plague him. Yet, in the midst of his pain, the psalmist maintains his trust in God's faithfulness and unwavering love. He clings to the hope that the Lord will hear his cry for mercy and answer his prayers. Even as he faces the darkness of the night and waters his bed with tears, he clings to the faith that God will hear him and save him. This psalm, then, is not just a lament about pain, but also a powerful testimony to the resilient faith that sustains God's people in the midst of trials. It is an ode to trusting in divine goodness and power, even in life's darkest moments. Thus, Psalm 6 continues to resonate through the centuries, offering comfort and hope to those facing the storms of human existence. Psalm 6, one of the many treasures found in the Book of Psalms, offers a deep dive into the human experience of affliction and the search for divine relief. Attributed to King David, a central figure in religious tradition, this psalm stands out as a fervent plea for mercy and healing amid the torments of life. The psalmist, in his anguish, cries out to the Lord, seeking to avoid divine wrath and begging for compassion. His expression of suffering is intense, revealing a physical and emotional pain that consumes him completely. Yet even in the depths of agony, he maintains his faith in God's faithfulness and unwavering love. He trusts that his prayers will be heard and his affliction alleviated. This psalm, therefore, transcends time, echoing through the centuries as a powerful testimony to the resilience of human faith in the face of life's adversities. It is a hymn of hope, offering comfort to those who face the challenges of existence with the conviction that divine light can dispel even the densest darkness. Now we will meditate on Psalm 6, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Among the dead no one proclaims your name. Who praises you from the grave? I am worn out from my groaning. All night long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. I now enter your presence once again, Lord, to ask you for strength so that I can overcome all difficulties, all problems. Lord, I know it's not easy, but I know you are with us. So, through this prayer I come to ask once again that you give us strength to overcome everything that comes from the enemy, so that we can resist trials and problems. 
I know that your daughter, your son, goes through so much struggle, Lord, that she even thinks about giving up on life. But I know that you give us strength, Lord, just as you gave strength to Elijah in that desert. You sent an angel to lift him up with water and bread so that he would not give up on your promises. So, Lord, make sure we don't give up on the promise that you have for us. Give us strength, O Father, to face each day with courage and faith, knowing that you are with us at all times. May your light illuminate our path and guide us through the shadows of doubt and fear. May your love surround us and sustain us, strengthening us on our journey. Give us, Lord, the perseverance to move forward, even when everything seems difficult. May we fully trust in you, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength. Lord our God and beloved Father, once again I enter your presence to intercede for the lives of each person subscribed to this channel. You know everyone's hearts, Lord, and you know the anguish and bitterness that many face. Whether due to debts to be paid, loss of loved ones, addictions, illnesses, or any other trials, I ask you, Lord, to enter the lives of these people with your purifying light. May your presence dispel the darkness that plagues them, bringing comfort and peace. For those who cannot sleep at night, may your hand calm them and grant them the rest they need. Bless each one of them, Lord, because even though I don't know their struggles, you are knowledgeable about all things. Strengthen them, Father, as it is written in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Help them to rise up, to find hope and comfort in your word. May they feel your presence guiding them in the midst of adversity, and may they experience your restorative love. Amen. Lord, I come to you in search of help for these people who are here. I ask you, Father, not to allow them to lack anything. Take care of the table of your sons and daughters, O Father. Hallelujah. May your name be glorified and sanctified. Take their lives in your hands, Lord. Hug each one of them and cover them with your mantle of love. Lord, heal all the wounds, ease the tightness in the heart, the weight on the back when waking up in the morning. Free them from all evil, from every attack from the adversary. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I rebuke the evil one and bless your sons and daughters. Open a door of employment for those who are unemployed, cure them of every disease. Visit them with your angels and protect them from all evil. Deliver them from their afflictions. For I know that you are holy and that it is not easy to live in this world. But with your strength, Lord, we are more than conquerors. Amen. Lord. I beg you to place your angels in the home of each of these who are here, to protect them and their families. I ask you, Lord, to free those who are trapped in the addiction of drinking and drugs, to lead them away from all evil. Embrace your sons and daughters, Lord, and remove all insomnia, weakness and sadness from their lives. May those who find themselves downcast within their homes be comforted by your presence. Free them from depression and anguish, Lord. May they feel your transforming love in their hearts. For those who feel unable to leave the house due to depression, set them free, Lord. Visit them and sow your love in their hearts. May they find strength and courage in you to face each day. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. At the close of this psalm, a note of triumph and renewed confidence emerges. The psalmist, after expressing his anguish and making his supplications to the Lord, sees a turning point in his situation. He prophesies that his enemies will be shamed and defeated, while he himself will be lifted up by the saving hand of God. 
This conclusion resonates with a powerful conviction in divine justice and God's ability to transform the darkest moments into glorious triumphs. Thus, Psalm 6 is not only a record of human pain, but also a narrative of redemption and hope. He reminds us that even in times of greatest distress, we can find comfort and security in the presence and love of God. This psalm serves as a beacon to those facing challenges and trials, offering them the promise that, in the end, God's mercy will prevail. As it echoes through the centuries, Psalm 6 continues to inspire and comfort people from all walks of life. Its timeless message of faith, hope, and redemption resonates with every soul facing the unknown and adversity. It is a reminder that although life's paths may be difficult and full of tribulations, we are never alone. Our God is a God of compassion and love, always ready to extend His hand to help those who cry out to Him. So, as we close this psalm, we are invited to embrace its message of confidence and victory. May we cling to the psalmist's unshakable faith, knowing that, in the end, the light of hope will shine upon us, dispelling all darkness and leading us to the fullness of life in God. May Psalm 6 remain an eternal source of comfort and inspiration for all who seek divine solace amid the storms of life. As we conclude this psalm, signs of triumph and renewed confidence emerge. The psalmist, after expressing his anguish and making his supplications to the Lord, anticipates a change in his situation. He prophesies that his adversaries will be shamed and defeated, while he himself will be lifted up by the saving hand of God. This conclusion resonates with a powerful conviction in divine justice and God's ability to transform the darkest moments into glorious triumphs. Thus, Psalm 6 is not merely a record of human pain, but also a narrative of redemption and hope. He reminds us that even in times of greatest distress, we can find comfort and security in the presence and love of God. This psalm serves as a beacon to those facing challenges and trials, offering them the promise that, in the end, God's mercy will prevail. As it echoes through the centuries, Psalm 6 continues to inspire and comfort people from all walks of life. Its timeless message of faith, hope, and redemption resonates with every soul facing the unknown and adversity. It is a reminder that although life's paths may be difficult and full of tribulations, we are never alone. Our God is a God of compassion and love, always ready to extend His hand to help those who cry out to Him. As we close this psalm, we are invited to embrace its message of confidence and victory. May we cling to the psalmist's unshakable faith, knowing that, in the end, the light of hope will shine upon us, dispelling all darkness and leading us to the fullness of life in God. May Psalm 6 remain an eternal source of comfort and inspiration for all who seek divine solace amid the storms of life.